Okay, so good evening once again. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Crypto South Road. Tonight, we are discussing about, uh, just like our normal schedule, to, today is for our hands on practical, and our agenda tonight is going to be a discussion on candlestick pattern. This is a continuation on um, the previous topic was done on technical analysis, and tonight is going to be an interactive discussion with different question and answers from anyone let's try to make it lively and our coach for tonight is uh crypto Kaba. so welcome everyone once again while i give the mic to crypto Kaba to take charge so crypto Kaba, you have the floor now okay thank you very much so i i'm going to start immediately so I'm going to share my screen too. So let me quickly All right, cool. share my screen. Okay, good. Can everyone see my screen now? Yeah, I can see your screen. I believe everyone else should be able to as well. Yes, we can. All right, keep looking about. We're good to go. We can all see your screen. Okay, so we're waiting for you to do the whole setup for us. Let me try to see if I can notify more people to join. I know this uh, section is always kind of be so uh, technical that you know it needs a lot of concentration, but there's no big deal in it. All right, so can everybody hear me now? Yeah, of course, I can hear you. Okay, thank you very much. So welcome everybody to today's session. We actually started something very, very basic on TA. Do we do have mixed sessions and we talk on how to be crypto safu. But today we are going to talk about uh, candlestick patterns and for those who have checked YouTube for uh, the sessions we've been having, you would notice that we already had a particular session on candlestick anatomy, how you'll be able to read the candlesticks or your price actions. So today on candlestick patterns, we are going to talk about how uh, these patterns are being formed and how you will be able to use them. So first things first, what are candlestick patterns? Candlestick patterns are just a graphical representation of what price movements. And they are formed what mostly by arrangement of what individual candles on a particular price chart. Now, when we talk about price charts, what do we mean? This is what we call price charts. Everything you can actually see here is what we call what price charts. Everything on my screen here this uh, green and red candles you are seeing is well called what price charts. Now, these uh, particular candlestick patterns are being used by traders to what to identify potential trade uh, trend reversals, continuation, and what and identify opportunities. Now, quickly, let me show you for those that missed the first sessions. I talked about. Uh, candlestick anatomy and I said we have uh, the bullish and bearish candle and we have the red candle as what as our bearish candle something of this nature yeah 
and we have the bullish candle which is what which is uh usually the green candle yeah we have something of this nature now when we have this you see that this green candle is what the bullish candle and this red candle is what the bearish candle and i talked about how these candlesticks have been formed and i said uh the bullish candle is being formed from what from the bottom to the top the down is the opening the up is the closing and these thin lines you can see here are actually called the wicks of these particular candles now quickly uh we are talking about candlestick patterns and i said uh candles usually these candlesticks usually form in form of what patterns and when they form in form of patterns you see that all candlesticks are actually what are actually different in sizes they are different in what in how they form and they form different what different patterns so quickly i uh, will be talking about our uh, examples of what of candlestick patterns and i'll just be talking about a few of them so first things first, we have uh, a particular candlestick pattern, which we call uh, the dodgy candlestick pattern. Yeah, the dodgy. Now, what is dodgy? Let me quickly draw something for you guys on how the dodgy looks like. The dodgy uh, pattern is just a candlestick pattern that has a very, very small body and what a very long wick. As I said, the wick is the thin lines that you are actually seeing on top of what this candlestick bodies. Now, when we have it, we have something of this nature. We have the candle being very small. You can have the candle very small. And we have what? We have the body, uh, the wick. The wick can be long. It can be anyhow. Yeah, just this form. This is how the dodgy candle is being formed. Let me label it. We have the dodgy. The dodgy. Yeah, it's called the dodgy. And now what does the dodgy uh, candlestick pattern represent? It just represents uh, indecisions in the market, meaning we are not sure if we are going to have what a uh, continuous uh, bullish price movement or what a bearish price movement is what it's an indecision between what buyers and sellers and that is why you can see the main body of the candle looking so so small now quickly let's dive to our charts and i show you uh this particular type of candlestick pattern very quick okay Now, look at this. You can see this particular candle we are having here. Yeah. This particular candle, which I'm pointing at, this one that has where this blue tick is actually pointing at, that is an example of what a dodgy candlestick pattern. And when we have uh, this dodgy candlestick pattern, what does it mean? Now you can see that at first we have uh, a bullish or an upward price movement. Now when we see something like this, it's just an indecision. It fights between us buyers and sellers. And we don't know where price would what head to next. Not like this particular candle, which is red, which is actually bearish. And it's indicating that price would go what, lower. Now we have a dodgy here. Now when you see a dodgy in the market, what do we do? You actually play patience. You allow the candlestick to finish forming and see the next candle that will appear before you actually take your what your next trading decision. So when traders actually see this, they what they play patience, wait for this candlestick to finish forming as it's an what indecision candle. Now we have another dodgy here. Look at this. This is also another dodgy. This particular one here, you can see it has a very long wick and a very small body. And that is what a dodgy is all about, dodgy candlestick pattern. Now, we also have other uh, candlestick patterns. We have a lot of them. But the first one we are talking about is the dodgy. We also have uh, the second type I'm going to talk about, which is the engulfing candlestick pattern. 
Now, an engulfing candlestick pattern uh, occurs when a candlestick was engulfed or it's more bigger than the words than the previous candle. Now, engulfing is just an English word and it means uh, that something is actually bigger or powerful than the other. Now, when we are talking about the engulfing, it just means we have something of this nature. Let's say we have a bullish candle, which is the green candle, and we have it like this. Now, when we have uh, this candle, we know that it's a bullish candle. Now, we now have another candle formed by the rights, and it's bigger like this. Now, when we have something like this, we call it what? We call it uh, the bearish engulfing. Yeah, we call it what? The bearish engulfing. Meaning, the bearish candle is engulfing the what? The bullish candle. And this is what we call what? Engulfing pattern. Now, we have two types of what? Engulfing pattern. We have the bullish engulfing pattern and we have what? The bearish engulfing. Now, this particular one I have drawn here is called the bearish engulfing pattern, whereby we have the red candle uh, covering or more bigger than what the green candle. And now, each uh, engulfing patterns actually have what they indicate or what they mean in the market when we actually see them. Now, when we talk about the bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing just uh, indicates a possible trend reversal towards to the downside. Now, meaning when we have uh, an upward price movement or the momentum of price is what bullish, when we have something of this nature, yeah, you know, this is actually what's an uptrend. And we see uh, a bullish, sorry, a bearish engulfing at this point. Let's say bearish engulfing forming at this point. Then we should know that we have what a possible trend reversal towards the bearish momentum and price would, what, would change its movement. So let's quickly dive into our charts and I show you examples of uh, where we have the bearish engulfing and how the, it's plays out. So let's see. Let's see. Now coming to the charts, let me actually identify some bearish engulfing candles, I will try to look for a very clear one for us to see. So I've actually seen many. Now take for example, when we have this, we can see that we have the uh, momentum is what is bullish. We have an uptrend at this point. Now when you check the last two candles that have been formed here, which is what, which is this green candle and this red candle we'll see that this particular red candle is powering or is what covering this green candle. Now, forget about the week that we have here. If you were present in the previous sessions on candlestick anatomy, you would understand how I explained how these candlesticks are being formed. And the main part of the candlestick is the body. Now, forget about the week. Look at the body. You can see that from where this four uh, rectangle shape starts forming from the bearish candle to where it stopped is actually what's covering the green one that we have here meaning we have what a bearish engulfing at this point now after the bearish engulfing was formed what did you notice we have what a drop in price now look at this point so we also have a bearish engulfing forming look at this we have a bearish engulfing look at this green candle red candle and now see the red candle overpowering what the green can do and what do we have we have a massive what push down in price when you go to your charts you see a lot of these uh bearish engulfing candles now coming to this point you can see that we have another what another bearish engulfing here look at the red candle covering the green candle and we have what a massive sell down look at these two bearish engulfing and what price sold down and that is how this uh, bearish engulfing actually works or plays out. Now, quickly, we have uh, the other type of engulfing pattern, which is actually what 
the bullish engulfing. You know, this is what uh, the first one we have here is. Let me. I'm coming. The first one we have here is the bearish engulfing. Yep, this one is what bearish engulfing, right? Bearish engulfing. Now, the one we have now would be what the bullish engulfing, and it's just like this. Crypto cover, we can't hear you. Are you talking or you are trying to set it up? No, I'm trying to draw it. Can okay, okay, yeah, I'm okay, trying good. to draw it. So now this particular one I All have right. drawn here is what is the bullish engulfing. It's called uh the bullish engulfing candle. Where is my call out? This is called uh the bullish engulfing. And now what does the bullish engulfing stands for or what does it do? Now, when we talk about the bullish engulfing, the bullish engulfing is usually what formed in a downtrend. And now, when we talk about a downtrend, what do we mean? When price is what is bearish, when we have a what price melting down, it's usually found in a what in a downtrend. And when it's found in a downtrend, it actually uh, implies that we are going to have a reversal to the upside. Meaning, after we have this downtrend, price going down. It would form around this point, and we are going to have something like this. And we have price push up, and that is what the bullish engulfing is talking about. Now, let's quickly dive to uh, the charts, and I show you examples, just as I showed you on what on bearish engulfing. Now, coming to this point, look at this. You actually saw that we have a push down in price. All these points here, we have what? A downtrend at this point. Now, when we come to uh, this point, see what happened here. Look at this, how this is formed. Look at this. You can see that this green candle is engulfing this red candle. Now, what does it imply? It's just showing us sign that we are going to have a possible what? Reversal to the upside. Look at this. Bullish engulfing the green candle, engulfing what the bearish candle, and we have a push up in price, a, an aggressive what push up in price, and that is how this uh, what's it called the bullish engulfing candle is formed. Look at this or how it works. Look at this too. Look at this point. Can you see the bullish engulfing? See how uh, it actually plays out. Look at this point too. See the engulfing. When you check your chart, it's all there in your chart. It's actually visible and it plays out perfectly. And the way it plays out, you have to wait for it to what? To form. Now, let's take, for example, as an experienced trader, when you want to trade something like this and you see that actually we are in an uptrend or a downtrend and you notice a possible reversal or you saw uh, this bullish engulfing, what do you do? Now, I wait for what? I wait for this particular what? I wait for the uh, bullish engulfing candle to finish for me. When I see the red candle forms here and I see the green candle formed, when it's finished for me, immediately I watch. I can buy from this point and have my stops. I buy from this point immediately and I have my stops what, at like 50% of what? Of the green candle to what? To cut losses if there's ever going to be. Uh, a change in what in trend as simple as that and you what you get your targets and you make some money so simple as that so quickly let's move to the uh, next uh, type of pattern that we actually have we have um, we have the hammer we have the hammer now what does the hammer represents 
the hammer you'll be surprised at how, what do we or why do we have an armor in trading now quickly let me draw what it looks like just like the normal hammer that we have it's like this we have the main body and we have the weak something like this now if you should go to your chart it might not be perfect or as clean as this at times you might see that it will have a little weak on top of it or it might not be bigger as this or it will be small but this is how it looks like this is how the hammer looks like let me have the call out and label it as what this is called hammer now let's quickly move to our charts and i show you how the hammer works do okay okay now when we talk about an armor an armor is formed and let me just say it's formed with a word short body and a long wig the wig can be at the top or it can be at the bottom now it can be formed uh when you want to find this armor we can actually see it in an uptrend let's take for example when we see uh an uptrend like this price is bullish yeah and we see an armor at the top when we see an armor at the top just know that we are going to see what a reversal in price the reversal might not be huge but definitely we'll see what a decline in price and if it is in a, a downtrend we'll just see that when we see an armor at this point at this point below definitely we are going to see a push up price so quickly let's have uh let me show you live examples on my charts so let's find it let's find it now i want you to understand something also the fact that is an armor right you can actually see it uh well represented like this or you can find it what upside down in your charts you can see it upside down either you see it upside down standing well or not standing well when you see it as an armor and the way it's formed just know what it would actually work for if you see an armor in an uptrend just know that we are going to have a decline in price and if we have it in a downtrend just know that we are going to have what a bullish momentum so now take for example at this point look at what happened here what did we see here look at this this particular green candle what did you notice this is an armor and when we have the hammer what did you see next we have a push up in price right now the hammer is very rare you don't just find it in any words in any place in the market you don't just find it you see it's either at what at the top the bottom but now when you see it at the middle or uh, at equilibrium it's very dangerous but let me quickly look for examples let me quickly look for examples now look at this look at this armor this is what this is an armor and when we saw the armor what happened next we have a push up in price let me look for another examples now look at this this is this is an hammer right after it was formed what do we have we have a decline in price can you see and before we had that decline in price price was what somehow bullish here and we have a decline in price now let's quickly look for some more examples before i wrap it up I want to look for uh, the one in an uptrend. Though I've seen one, but it has a little weak. Look at this. This is an hammer. This red candy you see here, it's an hammer. And when it was formed, what do we have? We have a decline in price. We have plenty, uh, what is it called? Candlestick patterns. 
But these are just going to be the three I'm going to talk about tonight. We have the likes of uh, the tweezer top, we have the tweezer bottom, we have the marubuzu, we have different type of what candlestick patterns. There are many of them. We have the three stars, we have uh, the dark cloud. It's just plenty. It's just plenty. But today we just talked about what the dodgy, we talked about the engulfing patterns where I made mention of the bullish and bearish engulfing. Then I talked about what the hammer candlestick patterns. And this is where I am going to wrap it up for today. So quickly, I don't know if we have questions on whatsoever thing I have shared with you tonight. All right, thank you so much, Crypto Kaba. That was so, so um, interesting, educative, and yeah, I've been able to actually grab one or two things like concerning these uh, times that you've explained to us and what it means when we see some indications on our trade charts. So yeah, that was so good. I, I, I mean, like it is, Something that will help us uh, when we try to you know, just check some necessary information on a trade chart or to do a proper research before putting our money into a trade uh, we, with uh, quite good knowledge about what we are about to dive in. So, yeah, let's put it out for everyone uh, who is having question on what we've uh what we've seen that crypto cover have shown us tonight you know we don't know we might have one of us who have a a a need to ask question on on whatever that is not clear enough so because it is hands on practical and yeah it is a free space uh try to you know ask question it can be related to what we've uh, same tonight, or maybe any other thing that you've watched in our previous recap. So just to make sure that we are all learning and we are moving together at a good space. So that is why it is so much important for us to, you know, be free to just ask any question we would like to, uh, share more light to. So yeah, let me, let me put it out like this. If you have a question to ask on what we've gone through tonight, uh, what we've discussed tonight, just unmute your mic, then I'll call your name so that you can proceed with asking the question. All right, cool. D for D. Uh, you have the mic now. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I took a bus, sir. Like, I'm very, very grateful. Like we are very, very, very grateful. Sir, about the uh the class just like which was uh, i was able to understand that of the, uh the dodgy uh pattern stuff but that the on the bullish and the bearish involved pattern the your ignition like when you are signal to i don't really i'm not sure i don't really like get how it forms but i i i know like not like that of the dodgy, then the, the armors too. I don't really get where you are pointing at at the candlesticks, like where you are explaining, except if you are drawing it personally for yourself. But at, at the trade level, where where it forms on the trade, this thing, I don't really like maybe it's because of your this thing. Well, the, the way you are signaling it, sir, the, the, okay, the okay. signal, yes, yes, that's I get it. Let me let me throw more light. Let me actually do something. I hope you can see my screen now. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Exactly. Now, when we talk about the bullish engulfing, I hope you got like the definitions while I was trying to explain. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now, when we talk about the bearish engulfing, can you see these two candles now? Can you see these two candles? Yes, that green, that green, that two candles. No, no, the green candle and the red candle. Yes, the green and the red. Okay, yes. let me mark them out. Exactly. Uh -huh. 
now from this point to this point so i'm coming okay sir yes uh -huh. now these two can do i drew these two can do you can see the words the green and the red the green yes, and the red now yes. this is what we call what uh the bearish yes. engulfing yes. let me label it coming Now this is what we we'll call the, I'm coming bearish engulfing. This is what we we'll call the bearish engulfing. And now see the way it was formed. Can you see where it's formed? After it yes. was formed, what did you notice? Didn't you see uh, an aggressive push downward? Yes, sir. Now, so that is how the bearish engulfing works. Now, when we talk about uh, the bullish engulfing, even before uh, it forms, you would actually be seeing signs of decline in the market or price reluctance. Because you see that price will start having this uh, reluctant movement. Let's take we have a bullish movement at the top now. Now, before you have the decline, you just see that price will just start having little what reluctance before it was is pushed down. And that is how the bearish engulfing forms. Now look at this, look at the way it's formed. Now, when we are talking about uh, the bullish engulfing, the bullish engulfing also, that is how it forms. Let me show you. Look at this. At this point, we have a bullish engulfing. Can you see the green candle? I was... Look at this. Look at this red candle, right? Can you see this red candle? That's my one, yeah. Yes. Can you see the big green candle? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Both of them combined is what is what we call the bullish engulfing, because the green candle is engulfing what the red candle. And now, you know, when I explain the bullish engulfing, what did I say? I say after the bullish engulfing is being formed, we have what a push up in price. See what happened here. Can you see how price went up? Now, aside that, when I talked about the hammer. I said, when you find a hammer in a downtrend, what happens? We have a push up in price. Now, what did you see here? Is this red candle you are looking at? How did it form? Is that not an armor? Look at this red candle. Can you see this red candle? Can everybody see this red candle I'm pointing at? That is an armor. Yeah, yeah, and when it was it. formed, what happened? We have a push up in price. And that is how these things are formed. Do why uh, it's not just advisable when you just uh, know on these candlestick patterns, you should just start trading them. Yes, the candlestick patterns actually works perfectly. And trust me, when you see them 95% of the time, they actually works. They hardly fails when you actually get them in what? In premium or discount zones in the market. And when I'm talking about premium and discounts, premium are just what? When you see them at what? At the highest point of the market and the lowest points they actually work perfectly but now you can't just say because you know about what you know about uh candlestick patterns you should just trade with them alone we still have other confluences we have the likes of chart patterns we have the likes of support and resistance we have different words things that you can add to it towards combining everything and what and get what get a trade for yourself or get a signal for yourself. Now, same thing we have here. Look at this. Let me quickly show you something. We have at this point, look at this. I'm coming. Now at this point, look at these two candles here. We still have the bullish engulfing here. Look at the green candle engulfing the red candle. What happened next? After it was formed, see what happened. We have a push up in price. And now, later in the future, see what happened. Price still came back to that point. And now, that is not all to bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing. The bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing candles are known as what? Other blocks. There's what we call other blocks in trading. Yeah, look at this. Price still came back into that point. So, there's still a lot of confluences to what? To add to it. I'm talking about other confluences. Look at this support and resistance. 
when we have something of this nature at this point look at this what do we mean by resistance something rejecting something from what's going upward now look at what happened here price rejected at this point resistance price rejected at this point resistance now when price broke through this resistance it automatically flips towards to become a support now look at this point when price came into this point see what happened it's what it's bounced on these supports and goes up now at this point also we still have a bullish engulfing now why do i say we have a bullish engulfing now there's a way we form uh this bullish engulfing at times whereby we combine two candles we call it what combination of what candles and that is what we have here when you combine these two green candles what do you notice the two green candles are more bigger than this one red candle and that is another word engulfing and when we have that what happened after that was formed, we have what? I'm coming. After it was formed, what happened? We have a massive push up in price. And now see what, what we did there. A lot of confluences, there is what supports that what turned a resistance that turned support, a flip zone. We have other block. Yeah, for some people who are experienced here that knows about other block, they will know what I'm talking about. We have other block at this point. So there's what? There's a lot of conferences. So I hope I was able to uh, explain or show you the bullish and bearish engulfing candles. I just tried to show you uh, how it is formed because you said you can't actually see them properly. So I hope I was able to answer your questions. The for the I stayed there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Does it really like you know give a better explanation about it? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. You're welcome. You know, don't worry. Just take your time. Try to still go through some of the previous video and technical analysis. And you know, when you watch the previous video, you'll be able to link it up properly and even understand better there will be a recap of this video as well there'll be a recap there'll on be... this section as well all right james james Otto, do you have something to contribute or tell us tonight james, this is sammy i have something to say good evening sir uh good evening how are you doing crypto sapo man 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 that was a great great one i'm super glad that um, this community is actually uh, into crypto education it's really a great idea bro yeah so the class was superb class was superb uh, that was... class was superb thanks so much sir yeah, you're welcome. Thanks Samson. so much. That would be a kudos to uh, Crypto Cover. Crypto Cover was our coach <laughs> for tonight. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, thank time. you, Crypto Cover. Yeah. So someone love what you are doing for us in the community. So same thing. Yeah, Samson, I love that. Thank you. I love, I love, I love this project, sir. I believe, yeah. I believe, I believe we can, we can, we can make it through, through, through this crypto education because. A lot of novices are there. They are just, they are just, they are just there, without any knowledge of cryptocurrency. They are just there. Nobody to teach them. Nothing like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I... Sorry, it seems like there's a breaking connection. I can't really hear what you are trying to say. So, but you know, in the meantime, let me allow James Otto to speak. Yeah, so James Otto, you have the mic now. Are you still with us? James. Something, maybe his network or something. I, uh, it seems we lost him over there. All right, so let me move to someone who is also interested in contributing to what we've... Uh... All right, Smith, are you ready to speak? Uh -huh. 
All right, cool. cool. Smith, you have the mic. Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you can doing you hear today? Me? Of I'm course, cool, we can. Boss. Okay, yeah. I'm very much happy for the program that we are running here. Though I joined late. But mm -hmm. despite that, I still got to learn something. It's quite impressive. And your technical analysis is perfect. You are doing well. Hmm? Keep it up. Thank you. The only thing is that we are not many here. We are up to 595. But the people in this life should do here is only nine. What's the problem? I think it's uh, people's choice. You know, some people prefer to watch a recap of our video. Uh, some people prefer to join the Twitter space. It's just depend on choice. So I prefer if we can actually, you know, invite more people that are really interested in what we're doing, like really want to put themselves in line. And some people feel like, you know, they are not really um, in a suitable environment to join. I'm, I'm just feeling like it's left to people opinion because what we are doing is for free. And yeah, we we really want people who are interested in learning rather than forcing people to come to this to the to the class section. So if we are interested in learning, we can actually grow together because personally for me, you know, I've had I'm, I mean I've been opportune to listening to different people say one or two things and I've actually myself I'm learning from other people too. And this type of platform is actually pushing me to even learn more uh about what is happening in crypto uh space. So it all depends on how passionate we are, the interest we are putting into it. So and my own belief is that on the long run, all of us that we have been so consistent with it, we are going to have huge benefit and reward. You know, you can just trust me on that on the long run. Because we are even planning more bigger we have more bigger plans ahead. So and talking about that, it is something that we really have huge impact on our lives. So, yeah, let's just keep doing it this way. This is one of the best way to build community uh, of ours like this because, you know, we are not about... Uh, ab we, we are focused about growth rather than uh, a, a short-term thing or a temporary thing. Uh, stuff like that so you know let's just manage with what we are doing for now i believe uh, in the long run we'll get everything perfect and more people can join our live uh class section all right james you've been uh trying to speak you can go ahead now james i'm not sure james is here all right cool uh um yeah can you all right cool so yeah we can hear you now of course um i was off and on in the class but i still learned something for us to invest which is want to create a platform like that i can start because i noticed the class is free which is we are just now online to watch your your we are online maybe yeah. most of us we are we can go back to your old clip to watch, to learn. So I cannot, mm -hmm. I just want to know if we are not left with you, how can we get the old video to watch and to invest? Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So if you're asking this question now, it is so simple. I'm going to, you know, send you links to our YouTube page. So on our YouTube page, classes that we've uh, we, that we have done in the past are available on our YouTube page. Like for example, uh, some class that we've done uh, some few weeks ago to buttress on 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 these. Let me share it in the group now, so that we can all see and you know reference back to it. So this is like our first introduction to technical analysis. I've dropped it into into the group so you can go to our youtube page try to subscribe and put on notifications so that whenever we drop a video you can get notified yeah exactly so you can get notified immediately and one of the things you can do to help us 
and help every other person out there that are finding it difficult to, you know, um, uh, that are finding it difficult to start their crypto journey. You can just help us uh, invite them to our group. Although this group is private, if you want to do that, just request for a personal invite link. Or I can, let me try to drop a general invite link that you can use. Although, you know, there is a purpose for this group and we are not actually trying to uh, make it so much available for everyone so that we don't bring in people that we are not expecting to join us in the group because we are building the, we are building the group gradually and it is all based on integrity. Yeah. So let me find a way to... Yeah, you're welcome. So uh, let me let me drop the invite link in the group. Um, so if you're interested in inviting someone, you can just use this link to invite people. Yeah, I've dropped it in the group. So you can do... Yeah, cool. So, and we would like to see you more in our class section as well. Yeah, cool. So... Let's try to move to someone else who is interested in asking any question on tonight's space. Do we have anyone else? You can try to unmute your mic. Uh, we have our staff OGs, people that have started with us from on start, people like Star Bossy, David, they are here on our call tonight. Um, it makes, yeah, they've been with us uh, since we started, like we just started some weeks ago, actually. Um, David, Star Bossy, do you have anything for us tonight? Or you are just here to enjoy what we are doing? Hello, Christopher. Good evening, sir. Uh, all right. Good evening, boss. How are you doing tonight? Very, very much fine. I've been on and off of the class today. I've been on trust. So I, I really did not I understand some parts, but I will get... It's a simple question I have, but I don't think I will ask the question now till I understand the video. I'll watch the recap and I'll, okay. I, will ping you. I will text you the message privately. Okay, cool. You know, you can do this because uh, I feel like Crypto Kaba is much more uh, very good at technical analysis stuff. So you can just tag him in the group. It's okay. Yeah, so when you have a question on that uh, topic, just tag him. Okay, thank you very so much. So it puts all right, thank you so much. So it give more reference to your message on that. And if you feel like you still have further question or any other thing, it is free. Our DMs are open, you can ask. So yeah, but just always make sure that you are messaging the right person because we don't know. Maybe uh it is something common on Telegram, scams, accounts. Just always make sure that you are messaging the right person. Yeah. So yeah. okay, so um, um good evening yeah. good evening to you, Crypto Safu. Good evening, good evening to our, uh, today? our our lecturer for tonight, uh crypto Kaba. <laughs> Actually I've I've been on and off, like I I've been you know, I've been on the road since just trying to rush down off to to pay more attention to the lecture, but I, I, the, the only moment where I was able to capture was where, um, Crypto Kaba was trying to show us the bullish can do and the, the, the red. I was not paying much attention because I'm on the road, but I will watch the, the video on, um, YouTube after you drop it on YouTube. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Nabosi. I feel like uh, there is no problem with that. Just try to, you know, watch the recap. I mean, on YouTube, immediately it is uh, available. So one thing again is um, we have our Instagram page opened. So we are going to have a LinkedIn that shows all the social media platform that we are on, which are the official one. So I'm going to drop it in the group uh, for people who are... But for everyone, please help us join. And, you know, you can also comment and like our post on Instagram as well. It will be linked to a Facebook page too. Oh, yeah. We'll keep on dropping the updates one by one as we proceed. So, yeah, I've dropped the uh, Instagram page. So, I'm going to pin, pin it. 
so please do where to help us check on the Instagram page and follow, please. So, Michael Okwande, yeah, you have the mic. Uh, good evening, all. Um, please, this is my first time, though. I don't have a question. I just want to appreciate what you guys are doing. This is so amazing. I've been trying to get something like this for a while. Even friends that I know that are trading don't want to teach. But this is this is not what I was expecting when I saw the link. But it is quite amazing, though. Um, appreciation to the organizers, our lecturers. I really appreciate this. You guys are doing great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Michael. Yeah, we'll continue to, you know, do even better on what we are doing. So, yeah, we are... We love it that you are here and you are on the right path. So we believe we are all going to go together. Yeah, thank you so much. And yeah, uh, Crypto Kaba, are you still on the call with us? I want to ask a question. Maybe we can, you know. Uh... Yes, yes, I'm still here. All right, cool. I want to ask, like, uh, do you do more forest trading? Well, I do more trading both crypto and forex there is not really much differences between both when you just have the knowledge of technical analysis and you are good in your team what is just left is for you to understand the basics of forex and crypto let's take for example the likes of futures trading you just need to understand uh the exchange interface let's take for example binance you need to understand how you navigate the futures interface, how to set your orders, how to calculate your leverage, position sizing, and all of that. Now, talking about Forex, Forex is a little bit complicated because you need to understand how to calculate your spreads, your lot size, uh, how the sessions work, and how to trade some particular sessions or some particular currencies. Because their uh, peers are more volatile during the Asian session. We have Asian pairs, we have London pairs, and the rest like that. And the fundamental aspects too. So when you really have the knowledge of technical analysis, you yeah, are a good analyst then. I don't think there's any barrier to trading any market. So it's just something simple. Okay, you know the reason why I'm asking is, do you feel like it is um it is going to be possible for us to be doing live trading on 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 this platform? Yeah, it's very very possible. It's very 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 possible. So I think before we would be able to do that, a lot of people should have at least understood more on how to carry out this analysis, how to do this T because. Now, why I said so is because when we have we have different analysts and our orientations to the market is different, I might be seeing something different in the market and you also might be seeing something different. So when it comes to these aspects of trading, it's very much advisable for you to actually understand to some extent. So when a particular drop uh, call is dropped or a particular analysis is being dropped. You'll be able to what, have more insights. So you can go and check it out. And what you can still even what you can still shape it or what still try to what to adjust it to your own taste to what to have maximum profitability. And that is how it works. Okay, okay. So because you know one of the reasons why I'm saying that is um just for us to, you know. I've been doing more of practice and uh because you know sometimes like for example me i don't do it much more or uh, more often so when i get like signals and i check on it that it makes sense i do jump on some forex trades so because of that that is why i'm actually asking if it is going to be possible for us to also do something like that uh live on our platform and you know people can also join watch and after having some basic knowledge they can also use it into uh action they can put it into action but it's fine uh it's just by the way 
and we can see how we can make it work uh, along the way. So everyone, if you are here and interested in doing forest trading, uh, it is possible for us when we get to see that a lot of people uh, already understand what we are doing here, better. And yeah, we can all be doing forest trading live and direct here that, okay, we jump on the trade. You know, this is what we are setting. This is the 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 signal um the signal strategy we are using, and yeah, if we make profit on it, it's good. And if we there yeah, there will be some day to you know get uh to 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 go home with losses. So we all try to understand it and try to also manage our risk properly. So yeah, it's been a wonderful uh discussion tonight, to be honest. And for me, I've been able to learn a lot. I don't know about any other person. So thanks to Crypto Kaba and every other contribution that I've been made so far. We are all Safu OGs. We are much respected. And yeah, I want everyone to keep the energy constant. I want everyone to, you know, continue to pull up on the space and let let us make this a great community. So uh, on, on the note, I want us to do something like, let's try to invite our friends, use the, the referral links, uh, uh, try to, you know, share, 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 share the general link that is to, 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 to your, on your social media. Yeah, just bring more people into it. Let's see how we can make great impacts uh, when we're talking about the crypto space. I've, we've seen a lot of people that have been doing it for us, like uh, shout out to Samson. Uh, the no, the the Notel King, yeah, those are the names I remember. Shelby have been doing great for us, referring people to 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 this community. But make sure that the people you are bringing in, they are like uh people that are going to be showing more interest. Like we are all doing, like they'll be pulling up to our class section because what gives us joy is when we are all going together. Actually. So rather than having people being left behind. So thank you once again. Before I wrap it up, let me give like one or two minutes to ask anyone if you still have a question or contribution to make uh, before we close out on tonight's class section. So if you have a, uh, a contribution. Sapu right, OGs. Sapu yeah, OGs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There should there should be there should be there should be uh, what do you call it um, call and response stuff like this in this in this in this space I would love that if you say Sapu OGs yeah or like making money <laughs> together um, making the crypto space you understand all this kind of stuff no, so we, that the ginger we, will be there you understand all this kind of stuff but uh, uh, actually right. when I was you know, talking we, we... when I was talking actually okay okay, okay. you're saying something when i was actually talking my uh network got bad and my data ran mm -hmm. out so i just quickly went to subscribe so that's why i came back so i didn't i didn't even know what happened i was actually saying something before sha i've forgotten safe <laughs> <laughs> Crypto you know, thank you so much thanks so much for the class uh, yeah, yeah the class was super it was wonderful seriously it was wonderful seriously uh, 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 I wish, I wish this this class will continue from from beginners to become an advanced student. I, I would love of it course. so much, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. That is what because we're trying to do. So many, yeah, Don't worry. So, so many, so many of my uh, uh, downlines, like my group members, they just they just want to learn. Actually, they are just hungry for knowledge. So many of them are hungry for knowledge. So. I would, I would love if this, if this thing will continue in a consistent uh, pace. Understand, sir? Yeah, Thanks so yeah, much, yeah. sir. Yeah, I really, I really learned a lot today. I really learned a lot. I really learned a lot. I really learned a lot. I'm so grateful, sir. Thank you so much for your feedback and, you know, appreciation. Uh, yeah, appreciation. Uh, your, your appreciation in general. So, um, yeah, we'll continue like this. We are not dropping the energy for any reasons. And, you know, just like you mentioned, uh, when, you, when, when we say SAFU OGs, we have a motto. Like, our motto is just like, be crypto SAFU. So we can just be responding with be crypto SAFU or get crypto SAFU. But I think be crypto SAFU goes well better. So maybe next time when we say SAFU OG, be crypto SAFU. Yeah, that is a nice response to that. Yeah. Uh, you know, it makes it more lively when we are interacting together. Miles, 
How are you doing today, Miles? Can you hear us out? Miles, it's been a long while. What happened? Miles, are you there? I think uh, probably maybe you're in a noisy environment, but yeah, it's glad to also have you on the call. Miles is also one of our OGs. Like, he joined very early as well, and he has been with us uh, ever since we started. Uh, Miles, yeah, we are just giving you a shout out. Uh, if you're unable to speak today, it's fine. Uh, our next class tomorrow. Oh, sorry, just to bring uh, to our notice. Tomorrow, we're going to be having a Twitter space. Uh, we'll schedule it now. When you get the schedule, please uh, do us a, a favor. Try to help us retreat. And yeah, let's get it across to a lot of, uh, a lot num number of people, you know, to join and to have um, that type of discussion. Uh, we'll try to be to come up with a topic we can we can discuss, which is going to be much more interesting and we can all relate to. So um, on our Twitter space, if you want to talk, this is what we want to do next. Just send us your your Twitter your Twitter um, ID so that we can add you as a speaker on on or before we start the the Twitter space so that um, we can quickly get into it into an interactive discussion on the space. So yeah, let's wrap it up tonight and let's call it a day while we continue our discussion on the group. And we continue to drop uh, rich information and things that are helpful to every one of us in the community. So, yeah, good night, everyone, and bye for now.